everyone good morning welcome back to another video so today's video has taken several months to film and this is pretty much the pf sense saga number two and since it has taken several months to film then you will see me change clothing and facial hairstyles throughout the video and if you're wondering why well that is why so i hope you guys enjoy the video and if you did well you know leave me a like and subscribe to the channel maybe put a comment it really helps thank you very much for watching and have a beautiful day enjoy the video hey good morning everybody so about two weeks ago i started a video about making a pfsense router on a laptop now the router itself is was pretty awesome to work with but the laptop has physically failed it used to connect and disconnect the network cards intermittently because they were on usb 3.0 not recommended do not set up LAN cards on USB because it's destined to fail but anyway so about two weeks ago I started that video two weeks went by yesterday I went for my morning exercise and I found this thing this thing is a small little cube type computer I am not exactly sure what's up with it. I just saw it on the, in the street. It was nice. It had its cover, it had a hard drive, it has had all the memory in it and everything. It even had a 256 megabyte video card. Now, for a router, I don't need that kind of hardware. What I need is a very basic video card so I can install PFSense and for the machine to continue working. So I installed a small 16 megabit video card that works on a PCIe 1, I guess. And I put 2 gigs of memory because PFSense requires 1 gig as a minimum. And as the hard drive, well, I haven't put anything in there yet. I am about to test this machine for the very first time. And before I'm going to actually continue the video about PFSense, I want to make sure that this machine actually works because I don't want to try to troubleshoot a computer while I'm trying to film a video about PFSense. But uh, yeah, anyway, I'm going to get to it and I'm going to start tinkering around with this little computer and see if it works. Okay, so this little computer does work. And these are the specs on this machine. It looks like it's a Pentium 4. The clock speed is uh, 3.2 gigahertz. It has hyper-threading enabled, which means it can do two instruction sets or two threads. Memory on this seems to be around 2 gigs and seems to check out. The only issue I was having with this is it wouldn't accept my little PCI e-card video card. It only wants to work with the 16 one. Now, I'm going to attempt to go into the BIOS and reconfigure it to allow for the other PCI channel to accept a uh, video card. Because I need the bigger channel to mount a network card in. Okay, so I've been tinkering around with this uh, little computer here. For the past two hours or so, I didn't get it up and running. And it seems to be a 3.2 gigahertz machine with 2 gigs of RAM. Um, for some reason, it has refused to work with this card. I don't know why, but it does light up with this card. And that kind of puts a nick in my plans because I wanted to use 
this because this doesn't have a wide channel and it would have allowed me to use a small channel however that doesn't work so what I am going to be doing is I'm going to put a land card the second one put a graphics card in there and just run PF Sense in that way and if I need more network channels well I'll just have to VLAN it on one of my routers or switches and have more channels that way but my main goal here is to get PFSense up and running on this machine now another concern is power usage so I'm planning to test this machine for its power usage and see how much power it's going to be drawing now the machine right now is off that means dead idle so the cube computer seems to be taking about 7 watts at dead idle and once I turn it on it's gonna start taking some more power from what I've seen previously in the tests I've done it takes about 87 watts when it's running at idle okay so the machine's off right now I'm about to turn it on in a second and I'll show you alright so the machine's off and I'm about to turn it on. I have the screen in the frame and I also have the power meter in the frame. Now look at the power meter and the screen so you'll be able to see the changes as they roll in. Machine turned on. Screen's not on yet but it's drawing. As you can see starting to draw power and it's booting up so as you've seen the boot process has finished the machine is right now on in my previous tests which were about two months ago the machine has drawn about 87 watts but right now it seems to be drawing 79 watts now I'm assuming that the reason is ambient temperature about two months ago it was just warmer and right now it's a little cooler so I've taken apart the SSD hard drive that I installed PF Sense on two weeks ago and I'm gonna plug it into this machine and see how it fares. Hopefully I won't have to reinstall PF Sense because this drive has a copy of PF Sense already installed and configured but I don't know if it will recognize all the hardware and work with it so I'm gonna try that and see how that works. Alright, I'm ready to test it out. Let's see how it works. Um, the power on the mini PC. Power's on. Let's put it up. And we got startup. And we got BIOS. Detected the Ethernet card and it's loading PFSense. Let's see if we'll get an error. Wow, loaded. All right. Okay, so this computer is working quite well, this seems to be. Uh, I haven't logged into PFSense yet. I'm going to have to close this machine up and put it up on the shelf and plug it in and see if it will work correctly. If not, I might have to reset it because it looks like it's still remembering 
USB LAN and not regular Ethernet. So I might have to do a factory reset on my PFSense router here. But so far it appears to be working. Now I won't know until I actually plug it in the network and try to mess with it. And that is going to be the next stage of this video. Okay, so I have been tinkering with this small cube computer for a while, trying to configure PFSense on an existing install. I did a factory reset, it did not work. I'm going to just reinstall PFSense on this machine. So since moving the hard drive from the laptop to the cube computer didn't work, I've decided to do a reinstall on the machine. Now unfortunately I can't do a clean install from a USB stick because it recognizes the solid state drive inside it as a USB stick already and there is no way to change priorities on which one is going to boot first. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to burn the image to a CD and just use an optical drive like this one to install the PFSense. Okay, so I have installed the ID CD-ROM on it. As you can see, it's all plugged in and ready to go. I am currently downloading another copy of PFSense. Since my other copy of PFSense was corrupted. I've burned the older copy, I'll just run a system update and it should be fine. At the moment, at the moment it is installing from the optical drive. And as you can see, it's running the install on the cube machine here. Seems to be running well. And let's see, I need to accept that. And install PFSense. And default key mapping. Okay, let's see. Needs to be a BIOS boot. The story with the PFSense router is not over yet. And please stay tuned for another video. And if you like this one, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you very much for watching, and have a beautiful day, guys.